Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody's staying safe and warm on this wet, snowy day. We're gonna start out today by talking about our weather. So we're gonna sing our weather song. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? What's the weather like today? Now I need you guys to go find a window and you need to look outside and see what it's doing outside of your house. I'm gonna look at my window right here. And outside, as I'm looking out there, I see snow and I see fog, which is very dense looking clouds on the ground. And I see a little bit of rain. So it's done a lot of weather today. So that's why we have to stay home and stay safe. All right, everybody come back and sit down. We're gonna be talking about the letter M today. If we were in school, we would be talking a lot about it. We're just gonna talk a little bit about it. So I'm gonna show you this is the letter M. All right, our letter M, can everybody say, Mmm, mmm is what letter M looks like or sounds like. This is what it looks like. It has a line down, a line in the middle to the middle, and up and down. This is our uppercase M. Our lowercase M starts lying down. It's gonna come up like a rainbow and down but then there's a second rainbow. Start in the middle, up like a rainbow and down. Good job. Now, we are going to be talking about things that start with the letter M. Things that start with the letter M make a M mm sound. So maybe you can find some things that start with a M mm sound in your house. At my house, I looked for things and I found a few things that start with mmm. I have a mmm mug. Mmm mug. I love to drink my hot chocolate with a mmm mug. All right, and then I looked and I found some mmm music. There's lots of notes on here. This is music for the piano. I also found some mm, milk. Ooh, milk can make my hot chocolate in my mug. All right. I also thought of a couple of words that we use. Now, me starts with mm. So everybody point to themselves and say mm, me. Good job. All right. We also have something that we feel sometimes that can start with the letter M. That is mm, mad. Ooh, I need everybody to show their mad face. Mm, I don't like feeling mad, but it is emotions we feel. Mm. All right, now everybody put their happy face on. Good job. All right, our last thing that I found in mine was called a mitten. I hope everybody has a mitten if they go out in the snow because it is cold and it keeps our hands warm. All right, we are going to talk about a book that has the letter M in it. Oh, does everybody see the letter M right there? Yes, good job. All right, we're going to read The Mitten and the author is Jan Brett and it's illustrated by her too. That means the pictures. Okay, now I see lots and lots of animals on here. I bet you it's gonna talk about some animals. And in the middle, right there, there's a little mitten. I don't know who lost that mitten. We're gonna read about it to see who lost that mitten. All right. I love this book because in the side, on the side right here, it shows a picture and an outline of a mitten. And in there, it shows what's coming next. 
Okay, once there was a boy named Nicky who wanted his new mitten made from wool and white as snow. At first, his grandma Baba did not want to make the mitten, the mitten white. If you drop it in the snow, she warned, you'll never find it. But Nikki wanted snow white mittens and finally Baba made them. After she finished, she said, when you come home first, I will look to see if you are safe. And next I will look to see if you have your mitten. So Nikki went off and it wasn't long before he dropped his new mittens. Can everybody see this? Right here, there's Nikki. He's climbing a tree. He has one glove there and oh no, the mitten dropped in the snow. Oh, look at this in our mitten. It shows what's coming next. That's a silly animal. We're gonna see what it is. Oh, a mole what that was tired from tunneling along discovered them in and burrowed inside. It was cozy and warm and just the right side. So he decided to stay. Okay. Next, a snowshoe rabbit came by hopping and he stopped for a moment to admire his winter coat. And that is when he saw the mitten and he wriggled in. Oh, sorry, I can't change my oh then the mole didn't think there was enough room for both of them but when he saw the rabbit's big kickers he moved over next the hedgehog came snuffling along having spent the day looking under wet leaves for things to eat he decided to move into the mitten too Oh no, the mole and the rabbit bumped and jostled and they not, not being ones to argue with someone that was covered with prickles, they made room for him. As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big snowy owl, distracted by the commotion, swooped down. And when he decided to move in also, the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog grumbled. When they saw the owl's glinty talons, they let him in quickly. Up through the snow appeared a badger. Can I see the badger right there? He eyed the mitten and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog, the owl, were not pleased. There was no room left, and when they saw his diggers, they gave him the thumb. Oh my goodness, my friends. Look at how big that mitten is getting. There is so many animals in there. So he gets to go into that thumb right there. Oh, next, can anybody tell me what animal that is? It's a fox, good job. It started snowing, but animals were snug in the mitten. A waft of warm steam rose in the air and the fox trodden by. He stopped to investigate. Just at the sight of the cozy mitten, it made him feel so sleepy. So the fox poked his muzzle in, and when the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owls, and the badger saw his shiny teeth, they gave the fox lots of room. A great bear lumbered by. He spied the mitten all plumped up, not being able one to be left out in the cold, he began to nose his way in. The animals were packed in as tightly as they could be, but what animal could argue with a bear? The mitten swelled and stretched. It pulled and budged, and many times it sized, but Baba's good knitting held fast. Oh my goodness, there's lots and lots. Look at how many animals are in there. Should we count them? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, six and here comes a mouse oh my goodness along came a meadow mouse no bigger than an acorn she wriggled into one space left and made herself comfortable on top of the great big bear's nose oh no look 
The bear, tickled by that mouse's whiskers, gave an enormous sneeze. Ah, 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 The force of the sneeze uh, shot the mitten up into the sky and scattered the animals in all directions. Oh no, look at the bear and everybody's falling out of that mitten. On his way home from playing, Nikki saw the white shape up in the distance. It was the lost mitten, silhouetted against the blue sky. As he ran to catch his snow white mitten, he saw Baba's face in the window. First she looked to see if he was safe and sound, and then she saw that he still had his new mittens. Do you see Baba's face? It's very small, but it's right there. Baba's looking for him. All right, and look at that. One mitten is really big. One mitten is just normal size because all of those animals sat in that mitten. Oh my goodness, that was a very good story. I really like Jan Brett's The Mitten. Now, I need you guys to find some M words in school to, at your house today for school. I want you to come back and tell me what you found that had started with the letter M. Mmm, good job. All right, we will hopefully see you tomorrow. Goodbye.